Muhammad Ali is with us. I thank you for calling. Is the caller there? Is that me? Yes, go right ahead. Uh, champ? Yeah. I, I, I want you to know you're the greatest. You're the best fighter, the... the Tell me something new, man. <laughs> I was, but I got a question for you. Yeah. Since you're the greatest, why are you so afraid to fight Ken Norton again? Afraid? I'm not afraid. See, I quit fighting uh, for the sport two years ago. I'm fighting as a businessman now. Well, let, let me, let me... It'll cost $12 yeah, million. I'm not talking to you as a businessman. So, I'm talking to you as a fighter, the greatest fighter that ever was. Of all times, I have, I'm, I improved it. I don't have no reason, no more, to take hard fights if I can't be satisfied financially. I, I, I got to have $4 million to take home clear with the tax system the way it is with my manager. He makes his share cut with expenses. For me to get four million, I need twelve million. Oh, uh, you got money. We all know you have money. But Rockefeller do too, but he's still trying to get it. <laughs> I whoop, I whoop, I whoop Ken Norton. I've knocked out the man that killed Ken Norton, George Fullman, a now agent. I now the Fullman. Same thing, champ. Listen. Wouldn't it be the greatest thing for you to end your career by proving that you're smarter, even that you've got the experience and you can outlast and outsmart this guy at the end of your career? He's got to fight Jimmy Young. They, I got to fight the winner. Too, I, but you, you know you had trouble with Norton, but now you've seen Norton as three. I had more trouble with Ernie Schaefer. I don't. Uh, I don't uh, excuse me, but your, uh, sir, your question presumes he's not going to fight Norton. He, you will fight the winner mm -hmm. of the Young Norton. We're going to get twelve million dollars. All right. I'm too great now, and I got too much fame, and I'm too pretty to be all the old tough fights and not getting paid. I don't need Norton. Hang on just a moment. Hang on a moment. Okay. Um, I'd like to know how would you have felt if you didn't win your last two fights, and how would your life have changed? Would you have protested? No, I wouldn't have protested. I knew I'd won the fight uh, if you heard the film, because they had the round by round decision. And my trainer would run the dressing room, send the man to the dressing room, and watch the fight while I was fighting live. And he would come back and tell me, you're in here four rounds, or you're in here five rounds. And going into the last round, if I, by round 11, if I lost every round from 11 to 15, I would have won the fight. I was that far ahead. And by the, in the 15th round, I got some strength, Allah, God gave me some strength, where it come from, had to be Allah, God. The 15th round, I came on so strong, and just wiped him out completely. There wasn't no doubt that I won the fight, so um, I wasn't worried about losing. But if I had lost the fight, naturally my life would change. I wouldn't be on this TV show talking as bad as I'm talking. <laughs> yeah. Hang on a minute. Okay. What other sports do you like besides boxing? What do you do besides boxing? Only one sport I fight. A great fan of mine, one of the biggest fans I have, his name is Pele, the world's greatest soccer player. And because of him, the only sport I watch is soccer. And that's all. See, came to me the day of the fight, came to my room, I met him for the first time, and stayed with him a few hours, and I went to see his last game, and uh, the only thing I was watching is soccer because of him. 